Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Hey, today, so I'm going to show you real quick on how to use Shader Graph uh, in Unity 2018. Uh, it's pretty easy <clears throat> so far. And this will get you up and running real quick. And let, let's go. Um, let's call it, um, new, so write a new project, create a project called um, Darth Shader. And it has to be, in order for this to work right now, it has to be lightweight uh, render pipeline preview. So be sure to click that, create a new project, and let Unity do its magic. And um, so this is kind of a crash course. It should get up and running, but um, it's really easy to use. I played around with it for a little bit, and it looks really cool, and I'm excited to see what kind of cool stuff uh, people are going to come up with this. And uh, when I get some free time, I'm going to check it out and do something um, probably a little bit more advanced, kind of get an idea what's going on. And uh, anyway, I'm really excited about this, and uh, let's just uh, get this up and going. And uh, it might take a minute, so I might just pause this real quick, and uh, we'll be back in a second. All right, guys, and through the power of time travel and uh, video editing, we're back. And um, so this is the default scene that it comes with. Looks pretty cool so far, but um, we want to make a new scene, so uh, we're just going to create a new empty scene. And... Um, Save that real quick. Um, call it my Darth Shader scene zero zero. All right, so um, just to get ideas going, we're gonna do some real quick. We'll try to skip through all this. Um, so a game object create. Uh, I think a cube. Okay, so the first thing you make a cube or whatever you're gonna be working on, and then we're gonna need to create a New material, create a uh, new material, my Darth shader mat, and then put that on the cube. So we got my, my Darth shader material, and then you need to right click. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Before we do that, we need to go to Window Package Manager and head over to All. And then you can see shader graph and install that. Uh, you won't be able to to uh, create the um, node shaders without doing it that way. So head over back to your assets panel, window create uh, shader. That'll come up in your menu. Uh, Pabst blue ribbon graph, my PBR. And then head over to cube, drag, click and drag that guy over. Your shader onto your PBR. Double click the shader to open up the node window. And boom. And a quick little thing, you can scroll in and out the mouse, very small to somewhat large, normal size. And if you hold the middle mouse button down and, and drag around, it can uh, pan. And also, this guy right here, if you right click on a material, you can change from sphere. The capsule, and you can also zoom and rotate, etc. etc. So, pick a cylinder, cylinder is cool. So, you got your preview right there. And um, basically, for this, you right click over and create a new node, and all the nodes you click and drag the uh, the line, the point into the slot that of your choice. And so, a basic one we do would be like a texture to get started. So right click to create a new node, there you go, and hit input, texture, texture 2D asset, so you got this right here, and then out is going to, you can click and drag it, and you see you can't plug it in anywhere yet, because you have to do, create another node, and this one will be artistic, normal, uh, normal create texture T, so input, texture, sorry, sample texture 2D. And now we got our texture node here, and you see RGBA, and you got all these right here. And then you click and drag that into your albedo, and now you got the preview here. There's no texture, so it defaults to white. And you can see in the game scene window, it hasn't updated yet, so we need to save the asset. And now we have the update there. And so to add a texture, you got that texture window right here. This is all just the textures that come in the default scene. Um, and I don't know what looks good. What looks good? Jigsaw? Sure. Jigsaw! 
and hit save and it'll update in the window and you're on your way and you can see you got your all sorts of metallic specular like that um, another little quick tip you can do would be to if you want to do a normal map um, I believe you just click and drag that out and then you create another node normal so you're gonna create normal texture from this and it does automatically but I think this normal is already in there in the scene as a uh, as it came with for the demo and then you would just plug that into your normal slot and boom there you go and then you can of course move all this around however you want uh, so you want to change the strength to a lot a little it looks pretty good I don't know that looks that too much uh, it's fine and then again hit save save asset and it'll update in the game and the scene window and boom there you go so really in a nutshell that's about it guys for um, getting you up and running on the new shader graph which I'm super stoked about uh, I've been wanting to get my hands on this for about 35 years maybe 82 years um, there's another quick thing you can do with the shader you can compile and show code and you can just go ahead and take a look at everything you did right there which seems like a lot of work for just a couple little things that's huge actually um, but anyways you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with this and I'm looking forward to getting my hands dirty and checking it out and I hope you are too and if you guys uh, have any tips or what not comments on this new um, shader graph let me know it does seem a little bit buggy I tried the pan working pretty good now but sometimes it's a bit mm. but anyways um, so if you got a sec smash that guy like button subscribe if you haven't already ring the ding and uh, any questions whatnot drop them below and I'll get back to you so uh, I'll catch you next time guys and uh, happy coding